Hello, welcome to A Nurse in the Kitchen. My name is Maggie and I am a nurse and also a trained chef. Now, you may call me a cook, you may call me a chef. There are some people who are very sensitive about who you call a chef. When I was in cooking school, I went to find out what is a chef? What are the qualifications? And I could not find anything that was uniform. So if you ask five different people, you have five different definitions. Some people feel you have to have been in the industry for many, many years. Some people feel like uh, you should have managed a few restaurants. Well, I've been cooking for a few decades. Does that count? And also I've managed a couple of businesses. So it doesn't matter what you call me. What is the purpose of this channel? Do we need another cooking channel? Probably not. But I'll tell you what, several of my friends and colleagues have been asking me, Maggie, can you show us how you make your pate? Maggie, can you show us how to cook? I don't know how to cook. And I find it so funny because it comes so natural to me, it's something that I love doing. So the purpose of a nurse in the kitchen is to bring together my two loves, nursing and cooking. So in this channel, we're gonna do it's gonna be all about cooking and all about nursing. We're going to be, I'm gonna take you from the basics, the tools that you need, and what every cook should know. Because once you have the basics, the rest is easy. And of course, practice makes perfect. The more you do it, the better you become at it. So a nurse in the kitchen, we're gonna talk about day-to-day -day things that affect nurses' lives. I've been a nurse for over 30 years. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh, I even can't believe it's been that long, but it has been that long. So I've seen the profession change over the decades to what it is right now. And you know what? I'm still loving it. I see people on YouTube talking about, oh, I just watched one that was so funny. He said, nursing is a hoax. Whatever they told you was a lie. <laughs> You're doing so many things that maybe in your mind you didn't think nurses did, but we do a lot. And a lot of us could write books about our experiences. So we're gonna be chatting. We're gonna be trying to connect. When you come to look at a nurse in the kitchen, I want you to let your hair down. I want you to relax. I want you to think that, oh my gosh, this is my me time. Grab you a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, your favorite drink, put on your favorite slippers, and just relax. You can cook with me if you want, or you can just watch and then you can practice later. What this channel is not gonna be about, this is not about makeup. I don't know anything about makeup. I just know enough to look presentable. This is it. This is as, as good as it gets, guys. This is not gonna be about putting anybody down. This is not gonna be a critique about other people's cooking. This is not going to be a uh, uh, Caribbean channel. I see a lot of them on YouTube. This is just about learning how to cook food that you love, food that tastes good and feed your body because this temple is your responsibility. What you put in is what you get out. So we'll talk everything wellness. We'll talk about life. So if you're single, married, divorced, an empty nester, a baby boomer, a millennial going down the hill like I'm, I'm doing, we can all relate. So we're going to be talking about life while we are cooking, while we are learning. We'll have some guests. Yes, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to try to keep it light, okay? So life is too serious. We have so much we're dealing with on a daily basis anyway. So why just add more stress to it? So this is going to be your relax time so look for a video once a week now the people who are experts on youtube tell you that you're supposed to post like two or three times a week i can't promise you that because at this age i'm still pretty busy so i promise you like um thursday or friday will be a new video so of course you need to subscribe you need to be you know in our community so that when the video posts, you'll be notified. And of course, 
I'm on Facebook, I'll be on Instagram, you know, we're all kind of learning this stuff. But this is what I, I'm promising you. What this video is not going to be about is about being a platform for political discussions and we have enough of that going on. So this is not going to be a platform where we do that. But I welcome your comment and your feedback. I want you to bond with me. And the only way we do that is to communicate with each other. So, but do it in a positive way. You know, people tell me that YouTube can be pretty brutal because people feel emboldened at a keyboard just to say some disparaging thing about other people. I mean, if you have a comment, you can do it in a positive way. But trying to put somebody down it really doesn't go far and you know it's not gonna hurt my feeling if you think I'm the most horrible person you've ever seen I'll take it and then I'm gonna move on all right so I, I hope you're gonna be watching I hope you're gonna like what you see I hope that you're gonna gonna be looking forward to being with me so the next video I'm gonna teach you about the basic tools that you need just like a nurse in your stethoscope blood pressure cuff, your thermometer. Well, there are certain basic things you're gonna need in the kitchen in order for you to cook, all right? So the next video is what, the, well, actually the first one I'm gonna tell you about myself because you need to kind of know who I am and where I'm coming from and why I love cooking so much. So I'm gonna be a little bit sharing about myself. And then the following videos, we're gonna take it one step at a time from the tools uh, from the stuff you may want in your pantry, we're going, going to go over spices that you need and specific things that a cook should always have in her kitchen. Having said that, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And thank you for watching. Au revoir. À la prochaine.